Hey guys, so I wanted to film a hair care video for you all, so I'm just going to give you guys all my tips, and I'm not an expert in any way, um, these are just tips that I've learned over the years, and um, at the beginning of this year I actually decided I wanted to grow up my hair, um, I had been cutting it pretty short like every year, but um, I decided to try long hair, and it has, has actually grown out a lot, um, so, yeah, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so, these are just the things that I've been using to grow out my hair and make it healthy um, and all that stuff. So, the first thing is to brush your hair from the bottom to the top. And this may sound weird, but, like, that's what I do. And it you're brushing out the tangles at the bottom. And then, like, you brush out a little at the bottom. And then you work up and up and up and up and up um just because then you're not like if you have a tangle like in the middle of your hair you're like brushing it down and then you're like brushing the tangle all the way through and you're collecting tangles and it's just a mess so i brush my hair from bottom to top and use a comb when your hair is wet this is really helpful the comb that i use is this conair comb um i don't know i use this when i get out of the shower or whenever my hair is wet if i went to the beach or something sometimes i take this with me um Pat hair, pat like your hair with a towel. Don't rub it because rubbing it just creates more frizz and it breaks your hair. Whereas if you just like tap it on um, or pat down dry, it works a lot better. Um, when you use heat, make sure you're using a heat tamer spray. Like a lot of people say, don't use heat, don't use heat. I honestly can't not. Like I love using heat. I love changing up my hair. So just make sure you use a heat tamer spray or any kind of heat protectant to make sure that you're not damaging it as bad as you could if you're not. Um, so this one's just the Tresemme one that I use, but um, I change it every time. So. And that brings me to my next thing. Change your shampoo and conditioner and heat protectant like every time you're done with it. So once I finish this one, I'm going to go to a different one just because I don't want my hair to get immune to this and then it doesn't work. So um, currently I'm using the Pantene Pro-V Classic shampoo and conditioner. Um, but I change it up every single time. So that's what I'm using right now. But I mean... In, in like a month I'll probably be using something different so I don't know don't wash your hair every single day it's really bad for your hair it strips it of its natural oils so make sure if you're like not doing it every like I do it every other day and then on the day that I'm not I apply a the Tresme fresh start dry shampoo just to my roots and it makes it look like it's not second day hair so that's a tip that you guys, one, aren't wasting um, shampoo and conditioner and a lot of the water. Because if you're taking a, like, shower where you're not washing your hair, you're not in there as long, typically. Oh, and um, just another thing that I do is when I'm in the shower, this is just good for, like, not necessarily, like, breakage and stuff. But um, I leave my con conditioner on for a pretty long time while I'm shaving my legs or something and I put a clip up like I wrap my hair up and put a clip on top of my head and it just sort of soaks the um, conditioner in and just helps it I don't know do its stuff um, and it's out of the way it's not like if I'm shaving my legs or washing my body it's not like on my neck or anything so that's just a helpful tip and let your hair dry air dry as like as much as you can like I only air dry my hair but I shower at night so I mean I air dry why would I blow dry I don't know but like if you can air dry your hair it's so much better for your hair um having a good diet helps so much like you if you drink a lot of water and you're eating like healthy like fruits and vegetables your hair is a lot nicer and longer your skin feels better your nails are better just Eating a good diet is good for your body inside and out, so just make sure you're eating a good diet because if your hair is like really bad and brittle and stuff, it could be because you have a bad diet. 
Um, avoid hot water when showering. Um, that may sound a little weird, but hot water makes your hair dry and brittle because it strips protective oils from your hair. So use like warm water or colder water, but don't do like the hot, smoky, or steamy, I guess. Um, don't take like really hot um, showers. Um, and get frequent trims, like six to eight weeks. Um, yeah, that way your hair, like your dead ends aren't like all the way up your hair every time you go get, um, a trim. And if you're going out your hair, get trims. Don't like get like three inches off every time you go because that may be why your hair is not growing. Um, and after conditioning your hair, rinse with cold water. It's painful and it's really cold, but it helps so much because it seals the cuticle, um, making it harder for the moisture to enter the hair follicles and um, that causes frizz so um, if you're like you don't like if you use cold water it's a lot better for your hair and it doesn't create as much frizz and it enters like the bot your hair a lot better I don't know there's like some scientific thing about it but I just used I with like two I'm in there for like two minutes with cold water and that's about it. I like, I rinse my hair with like cold water when I'm conditioning for like two minutes. It's not as bad as it sounds. Um, it actually sounds horrible right now, but I do it and I've noticed my hair is a lot softer. I don't know. It's horrible, but it works and um, I don't know. So those are all my tips. Um, if you guys have better tips, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, <laughs> and request videos below. I don't really know what kind of videos you guys want to see. So just request them and it was really fun making this video and I'm just excited to be back. And I hope you guys like this video and request more please. Um, I love you guys so, so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.